Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class and we finished with the logic part. We created our own GUI status. We created a button in the application toolbar of the GUI status. We called the event added underscore function. We created the event handler method. We registered the event handler method and we have written the logic in the event handler method. Firstly, we will understand the full flow in the debugging world and then I will summarize what are the various important points we studied into this full topic. So what I will do? I will put a breakpoint in start of selection event and I will put a breakpoint into this event handler method also. And we will go step by step how we are getting the expected output. I will run. Suppose I am giving the input 1 to 10. I will execute. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now, based upon the input, we are fetching data from VBAK table. If you see, as of now, this internal table has zero records. Whatever the input we passed 1 to 10, it will go to VBELN column of VBAK table, it will fetch the data of these five columns and data will come into this internal table. And you can see we have 10 records into this internal table. Now we are calling the factory method. We are not creating any field catalog. And you can see as of now, the object is initial. Whenever I will create, whenever this method will execute, yes, the object will create. And you can see the object created. We created the PF status or our GUI status, but we need to call the method set screen status to pass this GUI status to our ALV output. So we passed. And this method set screen status is a instance method. So we simply call through the object. Done. Now we are calling the get event method so that we will get the object of the event class. Now we have the object of the event class. Now we need to register the event handler method because whenever you will click on to the button added underscore function, added underscore function, yes, this event will trigger. Who will handle the event? Event handler method. But system should understand that this is your event handler method. So we simply, simply registered the event handler method. So firstly, we created the object and yes, this is our event handler method. Now we registered the event handler method and we are displaying the ALV. And now we have the ALV output. Suppose I'm selecting this record and I'm clicking on to this button, which event will trigger added underscore function. When event will trigger, who will handle event handler method and already on the start of selection, we told, yes, this is the event handler method because we registered that. So whenever I will click here, our event handler method will trigger. This is our event handler method. Now, if some confusion is there, you will understand fully here. Now, we are creating the or we are getting, so I will not say create because we are getting the values of global variables. So this function module will give me the 
ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सी एल ए अंडर स्कोर जी यू आई अंडर स्कोर ए एल बी अंडर स्कोर ग्रेड क्लास इफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज देयर कैन आई कॉल दिस मैथड यस आई कैन कॉल दिस मैथड सो इन एल टी रोज वी गॉट द इंडेक्स ऑफ द सेलेक्टेड रो वट इज द इंडेक्स ऑफ द सेलेक्टेड रो इफ यू सी हेयर द इंडेक्स इज एट एट नाउ from this internal table we are passing it to work area and we are reading what on index 1 if you can see this work area is blank as of now whenever we will read this internal table first record from the internal table will go to work area and you can see in this work area we have index is 8 you can see size sub r c zero so this if condition true now we are reading lt v b a k we are reading lt v b a k on what index just see work area index what is work area index 8 so we are reading this internal table on index 8 this is the index 8 so whenever we will read this whenever we will read this internal table this record will go to work area if i will show you the work area as of now it is completely blank as of now whenever read will execute and you can see eighth record from the internal table move to work area if you see on the eighth record what is sales document number 5 now size sub r c 0 now we are fetching data from vb ap table based upon work area vb eln what is work area vb eln 5 so vb eln is equal to 5 it will go to vp ap table it will fetch the data of these three column and data will come into this internal table just see this internal table has zero records now this internal table has the one record vp eln postnar matnar now we will not go for field catalog as we are using factory method so object of this second alv is blank as of now now the object will create for this particular class and once the object will create can i call the display method yes i can call the display method and you can see we have the expected output previously we achieved this output on double click now we achieve the same to same output on our function excel now if i will show you other data also suppose if i am going for this if i am clicking on to this button now if i will show you this lt underscore rows and you can see in lt underscore rows we will get the index 10 index 10 now we are moving the record from internal table to work area and you can see what is work area index it is 10 now we are reading this internal table on index 10 whenever we will read on index 10 so this record will go to work area what is vb eln it is 9 now i will simply simply execute and you can see what is work area vb eln it is 9 now we are fetching data from vb ap table for sales document number 9 and if i will show you this internal table we have the sales document number 9 item table now we are using factory method and we are using display method and we have the expected output we can enable these functions so many times we did same to same thing if i will copy from the program itself you can copy from the double click program also or you can copy from here also 
Here we use set screen status. So we will not copy from here because here we covered our own functions. If you see, here we have our own functions on the first output. If I will remove the breakpoint. Here we have our own functions, not SAP function. So I will double copy paste from the double click program. This is. And so many times we did this. Firstly, we are getting the functions. We are getting the object of the function class and we are using set underscore all. This logic you need to write into handler method, handler method, because you bought the functions on the second ALE. I will declare allo underscore functions. This is our allo underscore functions. If I will show you the expected output. I will go for order number 1 to 10. Suppose I am clicking. We have the buttons. So what is the summary of this video? Firstly, we understand each and everything in that debugging mode and we understood the output. But what is the full most important points we covered into this four to five videos in PF status and user command and extremely important from the project perspective. First learning, if you are creating your GUI status, how you can assign or how you can assign to ALV output you need to use the method set screen status first important point after that after that yes whenever you want to search for user command there is no user command method you need to go for get underscore event it will give you the object of another event class and you need to use the event added underscore function. This is extremely important because this is our triggering point where to start because people confuse where to start. So this is second important point. Third most most important point. Into this particular event, we do not have a parameter so that we can get the selected row. We can get the index of the selected row. So if you want the index of the selected row, the third most important point, we covered by function module. That function module is giving us the returning us the values of global variables for ALV grid control. And yes, we have ALV grid output. We took the, we, this part, we call this function module. It returned us the object of CLGUI ALV grid class. We use the method get selected rows. So if I will show you the three important points which we covered into this full topic of PF status and user command. First thing, you can assign the GUI status by set screen status method. There is no user command. You need to use the event added underscore function. Third thing, if you have the functionality that you want the index of the selected row, you need to use this function module. It will give you the object of CLGUI ALB grid class then you need to use the method get selected rows and after that you need to write the logic so that's it in this particular video thank you